Back to Air Canada Centre and Elliot Friedman. Elliot. Well, Ron, the NHL received a lot of praise when it cut a deal with the online site YouTube to put its highlights on the internet. But that is just one way, and the method that this game is being covered is going to change. A weeknight NHL game, Florida at Washington. There was plenty of media in the press box, but several of them aren't journalists. Uh, in real life, uh, I'm in the United States Navy. I have been for 18 years. I'm a chief petty officer. I'm an analyst for the Defense Department by day, blogger by night. I'm an attorney, uh, and I do consulting on government contracts, which is less interesting than this. They are, as Liz Chang mentioned, bloggers, ordinary people who, thanks to the internet, can become columnists on hockey, sports, politics, or whatever. Personally, I don't think that this would work in every market. Our approach is a unique one. We don't get the mainstream media coverage that we want. We recently went through a coaching change. We saw one column written about the entire process, whether it was before the firing, after the firing, once Bruce was on board. Um, Hockey fans want more information, and I think, especially today's hockey fans, they're not as concerned as, does this come from a traditional newspaper, or is it coming from a guy on his laptop? The practice has believers, none more important than Capitals owner, longtime America Online executive, and blogger Ted Leonsis. Last year, for example, he spent $40,000 to send three of them and a technician to the world. We're not going to make it big on television. We've tried for 20 years. Before I bought the team, I'd read articles and they'd say the biggest issue that the National Hockey League has is television. It continues to be our single biggest issue. We have to lead. That is the imperative for our league to build value. We have to be the most new media savvy league and go to where the puck is going to be. Canadian teams with their already jammed media boxes don't give away any of these seats to bloggers. And truth be told, very few American teams do either, with only the Capitals being joined by the likes of the Islanders, the Sharks, and Philadelphia, although Anaheim and Pittsburgh are considering it. However, there is opposition. You know, it's a lot like the Wild West right now in the blogging world. Uh, blogging is in its infancy. Uh, the line is blurred between fandom and uh, uh, journalism. Uh, there are some bloggers who consider themselves fans first and journalists second. There are some other bloggers who consider themselves journalists and not fans at all. Uh, and I think it's difficult for both the league and for our association to try to get a handle on, uh, you know, how this is going to evolve. Allen is pretty progressive on the issue, but wants to maintain ethical standards. The Islanders, for example, allowed bloggers to wear team jerseys. That's the kind of thing that concerns him. Regular journalist, uh, his accountability comes from his employer, uh, his or her employer. And, you know, if uh, they do something, if they do substandard uh, work, if they go outside the bounds of, uh, of journalistic tradition, you know, they would have to answer to their bosses. And I think the issue uh, from our standpoint is, is that, you know, an individual blogger uh, has no accountability. He's uh, beholding uh, to no one. You know, in a lot of ways, we can be even more critical than the mainstream media because we don't necessarily have uh, the accountability that some of the mainstream media does. So we can really take the team to task sometimes a little bit more and go a little bit further than uh, some of the mainstream media can. I've had a couple of players raise their eyebrows and say, you know, was that guy really taking video on a camera phone this big? And I said, yep, it's new world, guys. Sometimes they, you know, they don't really know what's appropriate and what's not and uh, like I said I, I think they're trying to figure it out okay do they dress better than regular reporters <laughs> absolutely not <laughs> <laughs> the Capitals lost in a shootout the night we were there and none of the bloggers reacted negatively as the final save was made that's important because in this NHL town they are here to stay my bet is with the way they're growing they'll be bigger than the hockey news is as a print publication in a year, maybe two years. And when you put that in perspective and you say, S one of these bloggers is going to get an audience of over 100,000. I don't think it's anything to fear. I think it's a business and social imperative that we embrace it.